today we're going to start our next topic split valuation so the topics that we're going to cover they are examples for using split valuation customizing settings for split valuation create a material with split valuation and stock for the materials having split valuation so let's start with a business example So in your company, some materials are procured both domestically and abroad. Since you want to differentiate stock on a value basis according to its origin, split valuation is to be set up for these materials. That means if the same material in your company has been procured from overseas and also domestically, you want to differentiate between the, the price and the valuation. In that case, we'll be using split valuation. Then with split valuation, you have the option of differentiating between partial stocks of a material according to a particular criteria and handling them differently. A split valuation might be necessary in following case, cases. So it can be used in other cases like when the stock of material from in-house production has different price than external procurement. When the stock of material is to be distinguished by the quality and when different batch stock of a material has different price split valuation so if you look into this picture here you can see that we have different ways that we can distinguish a material according to different criteria so here you have the first one say p what is p p is according to the procurement type Okay, so if the procurement is internal or external, that means if the same material we manufacturing in-house or we buying it from external vendor, then we can differentiate that material on the valuation basis. Or it can be O. O means country of origin. Probably if we're buying the same material from say Italy and we're buying the same material from France, we want to differentiate between the stock value. And the third one can be like Q. Q stands for quality. So quality means when we manufacture product, we, we may be getting or whether we uh, buying it from external vendor, we, it can have different qualities. Okay, so quality can be quality A, B, C, or D. So we can differentiate them as per the quality. So how do we differentiate them? How we can customize that? That's what we're going to see in today's class. So setting for the value, split valuation. So here basically from the customizing point of view, we have to do three setups. Okay, first is your define global types. Then second will be define global categories and the third will be define local definitions. So let us start some customizing. So let me go to the first part. Say here I am. So here I'll say the first part if I go to customizing first, SPRO, go to SAP reference IMG. And here if you do a control F to directly jump to split valuation, press enter. That's the one. Select that and say OK. And here if you open split valuation, um, the first step is to activate. OK, so in your SAP system, you need to activate the split valuation so if i execute that here you can see the um, radio button whether you want to activate whether you want to deactivate this functionality okay so here you can see it's activated that's fine then here's the main customizing step for configure split valuation so if i execute this one just cancel this one here we have to go through three different steps Okay, step number one is global types. Okay, so here I will write down. So my step number one is global types. Okay, so here we define that what category, how you want to differentiate a material by procurement from different countries, by quality, by in-house or external uh, procurement or something else. Okay, so here I will take the example here. Say I want to distinguish, say, as per the internal procurement 
and second one i want to use is external procurement okay so whatever criteria you have is or you can think of anything else you need to define under global types so first go to the global types here and click on so here you can see some dummy <coughs> setup here so first click on create button and here enter the valuation type so whatever description you want to enter okay so i can say uh, procure internal okay or i can say procure i can say int internal procurement okay int procurement and then under attributes you can say that here under attributes you can say that whether you want to allow the external purchase order or not or internal purchase order or not okay so for example here i can say for internal external purchase order So here you can um, if i go to the external purchase order so here i will say that for because it's internal procurement that are distracted here so i will say definitely i do not want to allow external procurement in the case of internal okay so in this case i i will be using no external procurement okay because i'm using int it means internal procurement allowed but not the external so i can stop it here using zero and for internal purchase order i can select number two which is internal purchase order allowed and we'll do the reverse in the other one so you can see when i say the valuation type is internal external purchase order is not allowed internal purchase order is allowed okay then another thing is we need to assign it a account category reference okay what is account category reference if you remember in the previous topic in um, account determination we use this functionality where we created our own account category referenced and we use it against our own material type okay so here i'll be picking the one that i created in the previous exercise the account category reference i think i created zzgs okay so i will select that zzgs so that means to which material type this one is assigned this setting this split valuation will be active for those material type only okay wherever this account category reference is assigned okay so let me click on this create button so here there's there's a screen is a bit different if i save it it will do nothing actually you need to click on this create button okay so create click on create button then you can see the message at the bottom is saying this is created then here you can type external ext external procurement and for external purchase order should be allowed that should be number two and internal purchase order should be zero okay and i'll assign it to the same account category reference so save it sorry not save click on create button so here i'll write down that i've created um, ext procure and the other one i created is uh, int procure okay so that's your first step now we'll jump to the step number two so go back you will see them here if i scroll down um call it ext and int so here's a ext and you can double click on it to jump to this one or sorry put the cursor on this one and click on change so there's a change you can change it and the other one is ing that one int procure so you can click this. you can see this one here so save it and go back so second step is this one global categories the same thing i was showing you here you can see the three steps here global types global category and define local definition so here i am on the step number two where i will be creating global categories okay so if i click on this one click on uh, global categories okay so what we're creating is we're just creating a folder you can call it like a category just like a folder 